With all the wildness that took place in the crypto space in 2022, there's no doubt that I had to find the easiest and fastest way to handle all my crypto taxes. Luckily, I came across Coin Ledger. This dedicated crypto tax software can seamlessly link with over 500 different crypto exchanges. KuCoin, Coinbase Pro, Gemini, even in my case, I have a lot of funds on Bybit. So I can easily link with any of these accounts and it's gonna pull up every transaction I've ever had on there and give me the taxable events that I need to show the capital gains, wins and losses so I can easily submit my taxes for the year of 2022. The best part of CoinLedger is you can use it for absolutely free and you only pay at the end if you actually wanna download the tax forms and turn them in yourself. So let's jump in. I'm gonna show you a quick demonstration on how to link your accounts with Coin Ledger. You can follow the step-by-step -step video with me. It's gonna be absolutely free for you. I'll have a link that you can click below in the description and follow through with me on this tutorial. Let's get your crypto taxes set up the easy way right now. So I'm here now at coinledger.io, the homepage, and I will have it linked below in the description of this video for you guys to go check out and dive into more in depth. But what we're gonna look at here is a quick overview of what the software has to offer. And like it's saying right here, you're gonna have your crypto taxes done in minutes. It does import all your crypto information really quickly from any exchange. Now, one thing up front before I let you guys know anything, if you've just bought and hold crypto and you've never sold it or traded it for another cryptocurrency, then you're not really gonna have a lot of tax liability. Even if you've staked certain crypto to earn yield, those are taxable events. But what's really cool in the software is it breaks down every category that you could be taxed on. The software also accounts for any income earned outside of regular crypto exchanges, anything like NFTs or DeFi, decentralized finance, all those transactions can be accounted for and I'll show you how we do that in a moment. And it looks like over 300,000 crypto investors are using this software. I'd also recommend checking out Coin Ledger on YouTube. They have a lot of different YouTube videos and tutorials there as well that can break down some good info for you if you're really looking to get into this. Now, a quick look at how it all works is you're gonna be importing your crypto transactions from wallets or exchanges. Then you're gonna preview your report and you're gonna see what the platform does to calculate your profits and losses for all your transactions, even if you've done any staking, held NFTs, or really anything else. And then at the end of the day, you're able to generate your tax report and once you've viewed all your transactions, everything seems crystal clear to you and it makes sense, then you're able to download a PDF just like this, send it right on over to your tax guy, import it directly into TurboTax, which is exactly what I'm gonna be doing, or any other means necessary. There's a lot of different tax reports that you can download. You can get the exact IRS crypto tax form. I think it's form 8949, and you can get that downloaded right from the software as well. They also do international crypto tax reporting. So in any currency that you possibly have, they can convert all your gains and losses into whatever home currency that you are using. And then you can see here, you're able to import from any exchange possible, even Uniswap, so decentralized finance, they also have Cash App, because Cash App has accepted cryptocurrency for most cases. So really any platform that holds cryptocurrency, you're able to track it and account for it here with Coin Ledger. So the next step is to jump in and import all your crypto transaction data from any exchanges that you've used. I'll walk you through that right now. So I am using a few demo exchanges here, a Coinbase, Coinbase Pro, and a MetaMask wallet. But to import a new exchange, it's extremely easy as well. You can type it in up here or just go through and find one yourself. But I'm gonna type in MetaMask right now and I'm gonna add another MetaMask account. So it's showing up as MetaMask number two right here. And I can just go to one of my MetaMask accounts I haven't really used in a long time and I just copy the address right up here. I just click on it like that, press on sync wallet. And then I'm making sure my wallet is indeed on the Ethereum mainnet. If I wanna switch from Ethereum to Matic or the Binance Smart Chain mainnet, I can click on one of these. And then I would just come over here and change it to match the blockchain I'm using. But right here, this is my Ethereum wallet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press start importing and it's gonna sync all the transactions that have ever been made on that MetaMask wallet. And in live time, it took about 10 seconds here. I haven't done a lot of transactions there. There were only 26, but it says looks good and it has already imported all that information for me right here. Next, we'll go ahead and upload a Coinbase account. I think that's the most popular gateway exchange anyone getting into crypto has ever used. 
So I'm opening a second account here for Coinbase. And there's a few guides that show you how to do this as well. So if you just press on auto import, it's really gonna look like this. It's gonna say sync your transactions. You can press on that. And then you're just gonna need to log into your Coinbase account to authorize cryptotrader.tax. You just log into your Coinbase account, do a two-step verification, and then you're able to auto import all your Coinbase information and it finishes up just like that. And to get the Coinbase CVS file imported, it's also extremely easy. I can come right into my Coinbase account. I set up a new one not too long ago, but if I just come up to my account button here, it's gonna open up some menus here. I can go ahead and press on reports. And then all I need to do here is press on the transaction history report. I'll go ahead and press download CSV report takes a couple seconds to generate, and then I can say download, and then I have my CSV report downloaded right here. I'll just go ahead and grab that right off my desktop and press upload file. Can drop it right in there like that, and it's going to import all those transactions just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one more popular account. A lot of people that watch my channel specifically have probably got into making a KuCoin account. That's one of my favorite crypto exchanges that I like to use right now. So I'll say add account, We'll do one more before I show you the review page of how we can look at all our transactions. So I just pressed on KuCoin, and now we're gonna say auto import. Now there is a few other extra instructions that we have to follow. We have to actually generate and get a API key before we sync our transactions. And if you need to, you can read the KuCoin import guide right here, which I've pulled up right on this other tab here. There's a quick breakdown video as well. But what you're gonna need to do is log into your KuCoin account. Then you're gonna come over to the API management tab. So I'm already in my account right here and I can come down to the API management button. And then I need to say create API. So API name can be anything you want. I'm just gonna say coin ledger. And you're gonna need to remember the API passphrase. So screenshot it or do whatever you need to because after you create this API, there is certain information that is just not gonna be available for you to see anymore, so you need to save that info in a secure place. You'll have an API secret and the passphrase that you're gonna to need to remember. I just created a special passphrase for myself. Then according to the API import guide, you're gonna to need to have these settings selected. So IP restriction, we're gonna say no on that. Even though it says not recommended, we'll say no. And general is already selected here for us as well. Now, period of validity, I'm just gonna say 30 days, so it's allowing CoinLedger to use this info for up to 30 days, and then it's gonna be revoked. I'm gonna come down and say next. Then it's gonna have me jump through a little security verification, so it's gonna send me an email verification. I had to put in my trading passcode that I set up when I made my KuCoin account. All right, I got my API email verification from KuCoin, so I'll throw that in there. And then I have a quick Google two-factor authentication code I'm just gonna throw in there. I'll put that in there. Do one more step, so pop back into my email. I'm not too worried about showing this API right here because I'm gonna be deleting it right after I make this video and there's hardly any information on this KuCoin account. I have like three, so I'm just showing you a base account which has like nothing on it. But now that I've copied this API secret code, I can paste it in just like that. Then I gotta grab the API key. Then I'm gonna throw in my API passphrase just like this and I can press sync transactions. And now it's starting to import all my KuCoin transaction information right here. So now that I've had all my crypto exchanges uploaded into the platform, I can go press on review. This is definitely one of my favorite features of the software right here. I can come in and review all the information. So it says fiat buy right here, and it's gonna show me if it's a taxable or non-taxable event. I can come down and see right here, anytime it says fiat sell, that's gonna be a time when it's gonna be a taxable event, which you can see here. It's gonna show me my cost basis when I bought the cryptocurrency as well as the gain, which in this case was a loss. And then I can scroll down and see all the different info for the Coinbase account here but I also love the fact that I can come over to the transaction type and just filter it quickly to see, hey, how many transactions are actually taxable? So I'll put in things like a fiat sell, a trade, income. So even if you're just staking a coin, you're gonna get some information based on the income that you earned from staking. There are a few things to review over here. So one of the biggest issues that I've seen is sometimes there's a missing cost basis. CoinLedger has a video on how to troubleshoot this, but you can go in right over to this little exclamation mark to review it, 
and it says missing cost basis right here. And I can go ahead and say troubleshoot this issue. And they have a little help page here where you can press on how to learn to fix this. And that's actually gonna show you the Coin Ledger YouTube video on how to troubleshoot it. Oftentimes it just comes to, into play where if you've imported a crypto coin from a certain exchange into a new exchange, that information has not really been tracked on the exchange it just got received at. So sometimes when you import that new transaction, the software will actually think that you bought the crypto instead of just transferred it in from another exchange. So that's a quick way to troubleshoot that. You can also just come and press ignore. And if you press ignore on that, it will get rid of the error code for you but it's gonna go into the IRS and tax information as if there was a zero cost basis. And it may add or subtract certain amounts to your overall capital gains or losses with your tax accounting. I can see any incoming gifts, my deposits, any fees. After you've reviewed all your crypto transactions, and everything makes sense to you, you can come right into your tax report. And this is for the year of 2023, so not all this information has been accounted for yet. And I'm really just trying to do my information for the year of 2022. Now I did just have some demo accounts here, so there wasn't a whole lot of information to keep track of. And you can see the summary right down here. So we had the short-term capital gains and losses. Those were trades made within one year. Also the end of year position, if you click on that, it's gonna show you all of the different crypto positions that you're still holding on to and when you acquired them. Even back to 2019 in some cases, we had one Bitcoin bought here at 2 a.m. on February 22nd and we're still holding on to that right now. And it shows me the remaining cost basis of what it's worth right now today. So that's really cool. And then you can see all your taxable income right here. It shows airdrops, interest. We didn't have any extra income earned from mining or staking. And all I need to do here is now create my final tax form. I can come and actually add a tax professional. So I'm gonna put my name, my tax professional name, and then their email address. So I can shoot them an invite right on into this final summary so my tax professional can take a look at all the information here. And what I'm gonna do is actually come down and say tax filing software. And because I'm using TurboTax, I'm able to come in and say TurboTax online. I can generate the CSV report, download it just like that. And then there is a learn more button. So it's gonna show me exactly how to import all my crypto earnings and losses into TurboTax. So there's a really thorough tutorial where you can just go ahead and follow through this. It's gonna show you which plan you need to get with TurboTax to actually import your crypto data. If you just get the free edition, I don't think you can account for your crypto earnings. Also, if I just wanna turn in the regular form to the IRS, I can download it right here. I'm gonna come down to IRS form 8949 and press on generate. Then I'll press download and then it's a simple PDF copy of all the transactions made within the year that are gonna be taxable. I can download that and if I need, I just staple it right onto all my taxes that I'm turning in at the end of the year. So overall, you can see how easy it is to import all your crypto transaction data from really any exchange. We have the last day to file your taxes coming up on April 18th, 2023. So you still have time to jump in and get all your books and accounting in order now. I think it's really worth it to get this, especially when the price is literally free to get started. You're able to check out all your unlimited transactions coming all the way down. The only thing you can't do is get your final tax reports. So you can come in as a hobbyist and still get your reports downloaded. I will have a coupon code. If you just type in Luke W at checkout, you'll get 10% off. There's even a 14 day money back guarantee. So there's really no reason why you shouldn't try this out yourself. And on top of that, they even do a weekly raffle where they give away a $300 professional tax report done specifically for you. I will also have this link right down in the description. So go ahead and at least sign up for that free tax report. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget if there's anything else that you need, drop it in the comments or message me on my Instagram, which I also will have linked below. Cheers and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.